Oh, no way. Look at that. Groot. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Geek's Trunk. Today's video, I know it's a little strange doing an intro in the middle of the aisles at Walmart, but I see a few cool things, so check this out. So we check over here at Wrestling. Wrestling looks like they've moved, but nothing new, unfortunately. We do have tiny... TVs in a different spot, which is pretty cool. Um, this little robot's gold is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, but um, nothing I'm gonna pick up. But these things are kind of cool. I'm not really too sure. It must be a game or something, right? I feel like an old man. What is this Among Us? Uh, but it's pretty cool. But let's take a look. I'll show you some stuff. I mean, meowsicles. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen this one right here. And um, Brutus Ghost. This is the new packaging. So we have some uh, drift boards, which is pretty cool. 12, 12.49. And some backboards. From, uh, look at that. It's like uh, skateboards. So backboard, banana, and cuddle. For 12.49 each. And it looks like they're basically the same except for this one right food and slurp it's kind of cool something different and new but um, I'm trying to look but check out this set right here it's Power Rangers this is is this who it comes with is Zerg in here I'm not sure I don't really care about the packaging I gotta say I know everyone's complaining about the uh, you know, plastic free, but I don't know what's in here. Is it this? Probably 28 bucks. I mean, what does it really look like? What did it, what did the figures look like? Are they small? Do they look like this? Um, I don't know, but I guess if you check online, maybe you can see a review on it, but these are hidden stores. Um, look down here. I showed this in one of my shorts. This uh, Mandalorian figure. That's not annoying at all, right? But check out Vader. Join me, and together we can move the galaxy. Kind of cool, right? Must have a few different. The lightsaber goes on, lights up, and stuff. Check out the back. Check out the back of the packaging. It's kind of cool, right? Thirty-seven bucks. But here are these uh, Micro Galaxy ones. So I actually picked this one up. I haven't opened it yet, but this is probably the only one I'm gonna grab because I do really like it. But look at, we got Vader's TIE Fighter. TIE Advance, I mean, sorry. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's, I think they're a little bit smaller than the Micro Machines. I do have micro, the uh, Micro Machines. I'm gonna actually take them down and compare it to this someday. I'll do a little review, a little uh, video, and show you guys what it is. But um, check out this. We have Lola for 38 bucks. It's kind of cute, huh? I mean, nothing I'm gonna collect, but yeah, not bad. I mean, it's a good size. Look at that, 39 bucks. And then we have, here is, TIE Fighter. I mean, these are pretty cool, I gotta say. You know, if I didn't have the Micro Machines, I'd probably start collecting more of these. Um, we have a few Dengars here. Lando, Skiff, uh, Palpatine, and a 3PO. Two Palpatines. And also, the Vintage Collection, so we have a Lobot, Bib the Tuna, Bo-Katan, yeah, Rebel Soldier, and the Mithro. Yep, that whole wave's there, pretty cool. Let's see, and um, there is a Supermobile here, and for 20 bucks, so I was kind of curious to see what the Batwing's gonna cost, and apparently it looks like it's gonna be 20 bucks. So that's, that's definitely doable. And 
I did see a few other new things here. So I showed these in one of my shorts, the new Spider-Man stuff coming out. The order that's out. This uh, three pack, Wayne Tower Mayhem versus Lex Luthor. That's kind of cool. You know, and I showed this in the, in the uh, little short I did. And look at, we have Wolverine here. The Vulcan. Finally see Sabretooth. It's kind of cool. He's a little, I don't know, is he supposed to be that, like, skinny? I thought Sabretooth was bigger. Um, Darwin. Oops. Drop that, I'll pick it up, though. Didn't fall too far. And, um, Siren. I mean, this guy's kind of creepy, huh? I am kind of... I don't know, I wish this Wolverine looked more, a little bit more like the cartoon. I'd probably get him, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm more into the cartoon retro packaging. But check this out, Spider-Mobile. I don't know, this is pretty tempting, I gotta say, so 29 bucks. I'm kind of curious to see what that Spider-Mobile looks like. And then little uh, Miles in there. So this is a pretty cool line for younger kids. And uh, Black Panther figures here. Look at these are uh, less articulated ones. 1097. Look at. So we have. Bri uh, what is it? Vibranium, Black Panther. Regular Black Panther here. Let's see. Is it all Black Panthers now? Basically. Yeah. So is this the hard one to get? Is this the new Black Panther? I don't know, should it? What do you think? I, mean, I don't know how many points of articulation they are. They're definitely not, you know, the blacks, uh, the, what do you call them? This, this line. <laughs> Can't even think of it right now. But yeah, check out this. A bunch of Transformers, new ones. Packaging's pretty cool, yeah, at least you can see the figures, or the uh, vehicles. I don't really collect Transformers. Um, but they're definitely pretty cool, look at that thing. Buzzsaw. And then we have uh, the Crockmaster, awesome. To see that in store, so they have three of them here. 42 bucks, and eh, not for me. And then look at this one right here. This is cool. Robots in Disguise 2000. Wow, that's pretty wild. I like that one. Yeah, what do you think of this one? Is that Universe Scourge? See, again, I'm not too familiar with the characters or the vehicles or the robots in disguise, but that is really cool. And then they have the Beast Wars. This one's cool. 25 bucks though, really? Pterosaur. Uh... Yeah, so it's really cool to see some new stuff finally. We had a little dry run going on for a little while, but yeah. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go to Target. If there's anything good at Target, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys. As far as Matchbox and cars, this is uh, what they have. They have some Fast and Furious ones and uh, Batman, Dark Knight. Some of the smaller ones right here. So they have a Knight Rider here, that's pretty cool. Kit, there's um, Transformers. See if I can see on the side, a bunch of Fast and Furious. And is that Bumblebee? Yep, Bumblebee. And another Night Rider back there. Let me clean that up. Don't want to make a mess, do we? But yeah, so other than that, there's really not a whole lot. 
I mean, these are pretty cool. Moving parts. Matchbox. Anyway, do you guys collect Matchbox? I actually just found that the other target is um, the Jurassic Park set of this, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, yeah, keep your eyes out. So they do have a, what is it, a five pack of Jurassic Park vehicles and it, there's actually a dinosaur in it too. Pretty cool. I'll show you later on in the video. And for Legos, I don't think I've seen this set yet. That's pretty cool. So this is, uh, yeah, this is from the Obi-Wan series. Wow. Didn't even know that they were coming out with Legos like this. I think this is what it is. So is it 50 bucks for that? Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. That's what it says right there. 408 pieces for 50 bucks. I think it's 50. I don't know. Sometimes they don't put things in the right spot. Yeah, a lot of cool Legos. They really get to start uh, picking up a few Legos because they're pretty cool. I don't even know if I'd have the room to display them. But this, I like these uh, three in ones. You guys like these three in ones? This one's actually really cool. Look at that. Dinosaurs. I mean, get you. Definitely bang for your buck. Some of these little uh, $5 sets. Quick builds. Yeah, pretty cool. So I did actually pick up a, a gimbal. So the next videos if, from now on hopefully will be a little bit smoother moving than this handheld device I have here. But um, yeah, check out these Jurassic Park sets. Wow, look at that. I mean, some of these just blow my mind. I love this uh, Jurassic World set with the T-Rex. What's your favorite sets? Oh, no way, look at that, Groot. 55 bucks for Groot. And it, look at, he comes with a, uh, a cassette. Wow, that's cool. No kidding. Ah, oh, man, this is tempting. Wow. What do you guys think of that set? 55 bucks, right? Is that worth it? 476 pieces, I guess, right? But yeah, if I think if I was gonna get a Lego set right now, it would definitely be, it would definitely be Groot, especially with the cassette. How cool is that? Look at this Fortnite set, 16 bucks, Meowsicles. Good deal. And for 15 bucks, they have Sky, Sky and Ollie, Fortnite. And this Masters of the Universe little uh, snake set for 10 bucks. That's kind of cool. This again, this is tempting too. 10 bucks, you can't beat that. And look at all these games on Clarence. How tall am I? Jurassic World, the board game. Villains for 20 bucks. Some Legos over here for cheap money, 20, 30 bucks. Look at this Mandalorian set for 37. Jumanji. Deluxe game for 18 bucks. Oh, I don't know, man. That might be a. I might have to get this one. 18 bucks. It's got like a, a hard base. It's got all the game pieces. It's kind of cool just for a little display piece, don't you think? Maybe paint it up. Do a little points of articulation touch to it. Yeah, 18 bucks. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. So I'm over here at Target and I don't really see anything that is new. But what I did notice is, I don't know if you remember one of my videos where I showed this Mario Kart set, which is really cool. And it was on sale for like 43 bucks. Well, not anymore. Missed it by that much. 
so finally the uh, T-Rex Hammond collection starting to uh, hit the stores. I actually picked this up the other day and I do want to do an unboxing on it and compare it to the uh, the Escape Pack T-Rex. As far as Transformers and stuff, you know, I don't want to bore you with the same old, same old, but unfortunately, guess what? Same old, same old. But you know what excites me when I go to a Target and I see the NECA section all organized? You know what that means? The NECA rep was just here. Let's go check the other side. Well, unfortunately, it looks to be the same. I don't see anything new. I mean, some cool sets, Halloween Kills. They have the Halloween 3-pack with uh, the kids. I, I love that set. Um, some Alien. I mean, why can't they bring out the crew again you know why do we have to keep seeing this alien i mean don't get me wrong it's a great figure but i need the crew i missed out the first time around bring him back NECA. um yeah so i showed this in a short also is mr freeze so we got him the other day but other than that everything looks to be about the same here so still the jaws tuny terror pack there that's an awesome set. I have that too. I mean, do you guys collect Toonie Terrors? I mean, I like Toonie Terrors. I have just about, I think I have them all. I think except for the repack of Ash. Other than that, I have them all. So, are you guys collecting those or no? Let me know. Okay, before we go, I have an end cap here of Series 15 Legends, Xbox, Stacy Keebler, Kane and Lex Luger. No chase over here for Lex Luger. I did pick up a chase uh, the other day and um, do have a Superwoman with the Builder figure. So I don't really care for the Superwoman figure, but I do want that Star Wars piece. Why couldn't they have like put better characters with this? Like Suicide Squad characters should have went with this, right? Or, I mean, I'm not a huge comic book guy, but am I wrong? Shouldn't have Suicide Squad gone with Starro, especially with the movie, instead of uh, Superwoman? And then they have, what's the other one? I just saw him the other day. It's like a, the Owl Man or something. So I'm leaving Target right now, and I'll show you what I picked up in a minute. Okay, I'm back at home now, and before I show you what I picked up, let me show you a vintage item that I have here in the toy room. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is uh, the Dukes of Hazard Barn Buster. So this is pretty uh, pretty cool. So we have the General Lee here, and it's a uh, push toy. So you you pull it back a few times, and then it'll it'll go and, and do a jump through the through the barn and all that stuff. Maybe I'll do a little quick video before at the end of this video, but. What's also cool about it is I actually have the original box. So look at how cool that box is. So I had this displayed in my room for a bit, but I had this box up in the attic. And when I was in the attic the other day, I said, I got to take this out for display because sometimes the toy is, the box is just as cool as the toy. What do you guys think? Do you collect, when you put out your, uh, your vintage stuff, do you put the boxes with it or do you just put the, the toy out a box. Um, I know Ghost, you keep most of your stuff in the package, but I I do like it like this. I mean, that's cool to display, but how cool would it be like that if I had, I don't even know if I have room to display it like that, but I want to try to do something like that. But, uh, all right, enough rambling on about that. Let me show you what I picked up today. So at the first target, which I didn't show you, I picked up, um, Another, this is my third road dog. So what I, th and this is only a five, five ninety nine or something like that. So what I want to do is I want to make a Shawn Michaels DX. So I'll, I'll take a, a, a Shawn that I have and put on the DX shirt and maybe the uh, camo pants and stuff like that. I mean, for six bucks, whatever, right? And you can use the, the parts for other stuff. Um, I also picked up, this was on clearance for $7, and I think it was like 50 cents. But yeah, so we got Starro here. I don't really care about this uh, Superman figure. I said that in my other uh, 
earlier in the video about the uh, the Superwoman. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, shouldn't they have done different characters than this with Starro? Or are they, are they just expecting us to buy it because of Starro? Because she did it. But I did the wait, the long game, and I got it for $7.50. I wonder if I can get the other ones for that cheap. Probably not. But check this out. Ah, Hot Wheels Jurassic World set. Look at that. How cool is that? Let's see if we can see it. Probably not with the ring light. Yeah, check out those vehicles. Even get a dinosaur in there, huh? So I'm pretty excited to have that. I collect uh, Jurassic World cars and, and movie cars and stuff like that. And this is definitely a great pickup. I also have a few boxes that came in. So I have this box. I have this box from Target. I have this box from Target. I have this box from Target. So I'm going to show you what I picked up in those uh, Sunday. This Sunday is what? What's today? The fifth, sixth, seventh. So the seventh of August, which is uh, coming up Sunday, is uh, Dandy 1981 in May. We do a Sunday stream at nine o'clock in the morning and we do toys and fitness talk so we show our pickups we talk some toys and we talk about some fitness and uh, maybe and you know give you some ideas on exercises or um just talk whatever anything about fitness so yeah tune in this sunday to that but yeah other than that that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to this channel do all that good stuff remember we are all Geek strong. Take care, everyone. Oh, well, stay for the uh, Dukes and Hazard part. Take care. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. Straightening the curve. Flattening the hill. Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Making their way the only way they know how. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. Just a good old boy. They wouldn't change if they could. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood. Yeah.